So guys, welcome back. This is an in-depth lesson on the song Skinny by Billie Eilish. I've been sitting here for the past 30 minutes just figuring out how to play the song and this song is one of my favorites from her new album. I guess don't uncover the full album by today. I don't want to waste time because I still have to cover the other uh, songs. I've only covered two songs till now. Uh, probably when this video is out, there may be like three, four videos out. But yeah, right now I'm done with two. So uh, let's get started. We got no cable. We are in the standard tuning. I'll be showing us each and every part in depth. So uh, firstly, I would like to start off with some finger style basics, finger picking basics. Our thumb is playing the top three strings any time. So you, I say E A D. Just use a thumb. Be quick with it. E A D. G string plugged by index. B string plugged by middle finger. High E string plugged by ring finger. Pinky is useless. So what I'll do over here is I'll simply have the A major 7 chord, right? D2, G1, B2. And what I'll do over here is I'll go A, D, A, G, D, then A, B, then G, then A, then again G, D, A, and then I hammer on from open to G1, and then D again, and then I'll A, A, and then again D. A little bit confusing, and that's the reason we have the tab. So we got. I'll do one thing, give me a second, I'll just remove my rings because it's like too irritating, you know, to play with this thing because I'm playing the shapes and it's like getting stuck over here. Anyway. Repeat the same thing one more time. So we got... But instead of going for a hammer on from open to one, we'll now go for one to two. So we got... Now we're to an F sharp minor chord. Uh, so I have E2, I got G2, I have fourth fret on A and D. So we got E, D, E, G, D, B, G, D, G, E, B, G. So we got bo both the bottom strings open, open, B, open. So we got. One more time, repeat. And then we'll do a backslide from two to one on the G string. And that is our intro. So we got. And then we'll go to a B minor seven. So for this, I bar the second fret like this. I got three on B, I got four on D. So what I'll do over here is A, G, A, B, G, E, B, G, B, G, D. And then I hammer on from a two to three on the B string like this, then again G. The song is definitely a bit confusing, especially with the finger picking pattern. But once you really get used to the rhythm, you know that thing, you'll get used to it. So uh, I'll just keep on practicing. Don't lose hope. So we got. Repeat. 
be so the next time you just don't play the hammer on you just simply play it like this so i'm pointing out all the small small uh, details which we have you don't have to but obviously it will make it sound more accurate to the song and then we'll go to a e major chord we got open second second one open open and we'll put third fret on the b string and open high e string so we got e d e b d e high e string b d b d e so we got and then i'll go for a backslide from 3 to b on the b string like this so we have then i'll play d e and then i pull off from 2 to open on the b string then d e so we got and then you just repeat the whole thing so that's our main riff and i'll play this riff very slowly cuz it's super important i'll give you like guys a closer look I just made this backslide. I just played it normally, but yeah, it should be a backslide. Anyway, uh, so there you have it. But what happens when this just repeats and you gradually get to the chorus? Uh, he starts screaming, cry. So at that time, once he starts screaming, you will notice that instead of playing the E major chord after the B minor like this. And then what you do is you go to, you pluck the bottom three strings together like this. or the b minor seven chord one then bring it one fret up so same shape one fret up same shape so b minor c minor seven c sharp minor seven and you do the same pattern that you did on the b minor seven chord one say a g a b g a e b g b g d and then you do then you bring the shape one fret up so you and then you strum what you do is you just add your pinky on the g string um 7 and that's a d minor chord so till now we play like minor 7 and when you add your pinky it's a minor full minor minor 7 like sounds a bit funky but minor is completely sad but the 7 just brings a bit of happiness you know anyway so the chorus part After this, we move on to so we go D minor, then we strum C sharp minor, then we strum C minor, and then we strum B minor, and I go down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, bum, down. So, so bum, 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 bum. So we go back and forth between the C sharp minor seven chord and the B minor seven chord. So the string pattern will be down, down, up. down down up so what i do over here is it's a mute so it's mute is basically down but i keep my palm on the string and then i do the flick you know so down down up up down up so down down up mute up down up down. or you can even go down mute up up mute up this will really be better down Sounds very basic. Slap down, 
There you have it. That's how you play the song. Oh, yeah. Finally done with it. So, guys, do let me know if you have any doubt. This song is not on the easy side, so definitely take some time. But this is a full song. After that, we have the saxophone solo, which is not on guitar, so we don't have to worry about it. I'll take a short break because I'll do one thing. I'll upload the videos right now. I'll edit it right now. Have a bit of my meal. And we'll get to the other ones in a second. Thanks for watching. Guys, don't forget to subscribe because I'm bringing the most accurate and the easiest lesson I won't say easy, but you're yeah, obviously trying to make it as beginner friendly as possible. So yes, do subscribe. Really means a lot. And I'll see you back in the next video. Bye.